Welcome back, coin enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of the 1952 S. Jefferson nickel. This coin is a fascinating piece of numismatic history, often presenting unique challenges and rewards for collectors. Typically, the 1952 S. nickel features a weak strike at its centers, with shallow lettering due to overpolishing of the dies. The luster is smooth but not particularly bright. Coins with either 5 full steps 5FS or 6 full steps 6FS are exceptionally rare and highly sought after. Repunched mint mark varieties for this issue exist but generally appeal only to diehard variety specialists. According to the NGC price guide as of June 2024, a circulated 1952 S. Jefferson nickel is valued between 10 cents and 20 cents. However, pristine, uncirculated examples can fetch up to $200 on the open market. For those with patience, full steps examples in MS65 and MS66 grades can be found, though superb gem levels are exceedingly rare. This coin is tied with just four others for the finest certified at PCGS, with only eight comparable pieces at NGC. Imagine owning a gem with delicate iridescence on each side, a bold strike, and pristine satin luster, a true visual delight. One such gem was sold for over $6,400 at Heritage Auctions, a testament to its allure and value. Blessed with a large mintage and superior quality control for the 1920s, the 1926 P scent is a gem that collectors can find in fully red condition, even from lightly worn dyes. The example shown. The example shown here is exactly what advanced collectors should be on the lookout for. These scents were common in all circulated grades and could still be found in pocket change well into the 1960s. This particular specimen, graded mint state 67 plus red by PCGS and verified by CAC, stands out from its peers. The plus designation highlights its exceptional quality, boasting vibrant, frosty mint luster and vivid sun gold and copper orange hues. Both sides are free from bothersome abrasions and the strike is impressively bold. On June 14th, 2024, this stunning scent fetched over $3,800 at Heritage Auctions, underscoring its rarity and desirability among collectors. With the economy on the mend, Philadelphia produced far more quarter dollars in 1959 compared to 1958. However, the trend was shifting toward Denver, which was striking more coins annually. This shift made sense since Denver had taken on additional service territory after the San Francisco Mint stopped producing coins in 1955. The 1959 quarters are, are plentiful in grades up to MS66, but the number certified as MS67 is significantly lower than those from surrounding years, making them scarce and highly sought after. Interestingly, like all Philadelphia Mint quarters from 1956 to 664, some 1959 quarters were struck from retired or unneeded proof dies. This featured 1959 quarter dollar, graded MS67 plus by PCGS and verified by KC, is a frosty, pristine example with brilliant interiors transitioning to sea green and sunset gold border toning. Both sides are free from notable abrasions. The 1959 Washington quarter is scarce in MS67 and extremely rare with a plus designation, with no finer pieces known. This exceptional quarter dollar sold for over $3,000 on June 14, 2024 at Heritage Auctions. With the coin shortage officially over, mint marks were restored to the nation's coinage starting with the 1968 production. The Denver Mint continued as the sole provider of half dollars for circulation, with its D mint mark prominently displayed on the obverse at the truncation of Kennedy's neck. This issue is very common in mint state up to MS66, but finer pieces are quite rare. Lightly circulated coins are also plentiful. The number of certified proof-like PL examples is slightly higher than previous silver-clad halves, yet these coins remain rare and highly sought after. The vividly toned specimen featured here was graded MS67 plus by PCGS. This Denver issue is scarce in MS67, with only a handful of coins at PCGS in this grade carrying the plus designation. No finer examples are known at either PCGS or NGC. This remarkable example boasts sharp definition and vibrant, satiny mint luster. Dusky golden toning covers most of each side, while vivid crimson, green, and russet tones form a crescent on the right obverse margin. This exceptional half dollar sold for $2,400 on June 14, 2024. The long suspension of scent coinage 
at San Francisco during 1941 was still affecting production in early 1942, with the mint making only cents through March. Due to restrictions on copper use, scent production gradually dwindled throughout the rest of the year. Gem 1940 scents often have a slightly subdued red color, rather than the bright and flashy appearance collectors typically desire. This issue is considered slightly more scarce than other 1940 scents in top grades. This exceptional gem, graded Mint State 68 Red by NGC, showcases a remarkably sharp strike and luminous satin luster with a uniform copper-orange color. No spots or abrasions are observed. The 1942S is a rarity in this top grade and is essential for registry set collectors. This superb coin sold for $3,840 at Heritage Auctions. The modest mintage of the 1951S nickel sparked widespread hoarding, making mint state pieces of average quality quite plentiful. However, finding sharply struck gems is a true challenge. Coins with pleasing luster and soft strikes are more common, reflecting the San Francisco Mint's practice in the late 1940s and early 1950s of repolishing worn dyes to remove erosion lines and extend their usage. This process resulted in shallow lettering and occasionally proof-like pieces. This particular specimen, featuring full steps, was graded MS67FS by PCGS. Several aspects of this superb gem will captivate specialists. Most notably, the strong full steps definition makes this coin exceptionally rare in its current MS67 grade. Additionally, it was struck from relatively fresh dyes, resulting in sharp design details throughout the margins. The original satiny luster, with a hint of iridescent color, adds to its allure. This remarkable coin recently sold for over $3,900 at Heritage Auctions. By 1941, prices for the proof sets from 1936 onward were already climbing, with a well-established market driving annual sales increases. Collectors began buying duplicate sets for speculative purposes, further fueling demand. However, not all proof coins struck were fit for sale, with a rejection rate nearing 30% in 1941. Despite over 21,000 coins being struck, only 15,000 were delivered to the metals clerk for sale. Reference books list uh, a little over 15,000 quarters, accounting for 87 coins destroyed in assays. The Philadelphia Mint was becoming more proficient at extending the life of its dyes, needing only five obverse and six reverse dyes for that year's production. The survival rate of gem coins has risen steadily each year for the 1936-42 proof coins, making examples through PF67 plentiful. This particular brilliant and sharp superb gem, graded PR68 by PCGS, showcases the exceptional quality of the era. It recently sold for over $2,700 at Heritage Auctions, underscoring its desirability among collectors. And now, the highlight of this episode, a 1918 Lincoln scent in Mint State 68 Red. This virtually flawless example truly needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Its silky smooth surfaces exhibit a vivid mint color of beautiful rose red, while the striking detail is razor sharp and complete throughout the design. The eye appeal is extraordinary. Although the 1918 Lincoln scent is among the more plentiful early dates, high quality mint state examples are scarcer than those of 1916 and 1919. Near the pinnacle of numismatic preservation and quality, this full uh, red ultra gem is of the utmost condition rarity making it a prized addition to the Flinkincent collections on the PCGS set registry. This exceptional coin was sold for an impressive $31,200 in 2024. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for, for more exciting numismatic content. Stay tuned for the latest updates and fascinating coin discoveries.